Hello everybody, hey everyone, Mario Sunshine here, and we're back with some more Pokemon Ranger. In the last episode, we started invading the Go Rock squad, the squad's uh, base in this episode. We're going to be continuing just that. Garrett, bro up! My bro, open up! The things went sideways on me. And we got Garrett up next. Well, I guess we'll capture Mankey, why not? And yeah, we also met up with Lunik on the way, halfway through the, uh... Halfway through... And in this episode, we'll be finishing off the uh, secret base. Oh my god, now he's bought in the whole sh Scissor Gang. Or Scizor Gang. Guess we'll have to cut them down a size. As a result of that, I am losing my the boss's trust. Actually, I am grateful that you've caused me so much grief. Because I'm using that anger. That anger as motivation. As m motivation. Yes, as motivation. Enough of this talking like some gent. I'm motivated to hit back. I'm grateful for what you did, but that doesn't m mean you're forgiven. Here's your payback for all the humiliation I've suffered. Scizor, do your thing. Ah, it's, re it's revenge. Get motivated. Alright, here we go. We got the Scizor once more. So yeah, this is an entire boss rush this second half. Oh my god, this is probably the most annoying thing, because... Uh... Yeah, let's do it. Plusle, go ahead. Whoa, okay. I literally failed. They were, like, at the edge. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. Can I please? Uh, Mankey. Wow, we almost got Scizor with that. I'm sorry that I'm focusing too much. But, oh my god. Okay, that did a lot of damage. You know what? Please, for the love of god. Just get this over and done with. Oh, right in a good spot. Okay. And there we have it. At least I didn't say there we go. Jeez. That's going to be the catchphrase for this Let's Play, huh? <sighs> it's so unlike me to get so excited. If only I had the power style with that that the boss completed, I would have won. The power style is already completed. Wait, the power styler's already completed? Then why did, don't you have one? Only your boss has the power styler. Though its performance is incredible, only one has been made. You should consider yourself lucky. However, I, if you think you've changed anything by defeating me, you're sadly mistaken. There's one brother left. And we're definitely gonna need you. The Wild Magneton, hooray! We're definitely going to need to recharge here. Because we're going to be facing the final of the uh, Go Rock quads. Oh, that should bring us to 20... Oh, wait. Actually, wow. That was much more charge than I expected. Oh, we got a new Pokemon here. It is Matang. We caught Be Beldum before. And, uh... Well, Beldum in the, uh... The Jungle Relic. Uh, we... Hot Matang. A few of them here. Also, definitely looking like a uh, more darker location. 
Perhaps maybe more Pokemon are in trouble. I mean, you could kind of expect it. We did see Pokemon being used in the factory. I think that Magneton might have respawned. Yes, it did. Honestly, a lot of the, uh... A lot of the uh, spin-off games villains are really well written or very comically evil, or both. But uh, yeah, just a lot of the spin-off games in general. I've ta I mentioned this so many times. That just the, the spin-offs in general are just really great. And it'd be great if Pokemon kept, like continued making them, like at this such level. I really like the remake for the first Mystery Dungeon game. Oh. Oh my God! It's an actual Machamp. Hey, look, it's a Machamp GBA Sprite. Well, I guess G DS Sprite. I was gonna say GBA one, but I remember that uh, Machamp's uh, but this is a game. This is a DS game. I was gonna say Game Boy Sprite because uh, fun fact, Machamp's Sprite in the GBA games is actually infamously known for not having its belt. It's like one of the few errors you see in Pokemon or like uh, their sprites, along with uh, whoa, that's a lot of Machamp. I guess you could say they're a handful. <laughs> oh my god, I, ha I ha they, Literally, there's a bunch of them, so like, I had to say it. Really? You know what, let's just go in. Whoa! This definitely does seem like final boss material. Pokemon Go Go, welcome to our secret base. Even if you're in a hurry, stop in your tracks. Open your ears to our melodic attacks. The rhythm of rage pounds the ground. Let the melody of ambition rise to the skies. If you don't know us, we'll cure your ignorance. Billy, Garrett, Clyde, Tiffany, the Go Rock Squad's hot prospect of Keith Shaker and Taker celebrities. And name you one name once heard and never forgotten. The Go Rock Quads! And that's the best one yet. Welcome to our secret base. We were expecting you. Do you remember what I said about the Go Rock Squad changing the history of the Rangers? That's fantastic news, isn't it? So why do you keep trying to mess a, us up? Think about it. The Go Rock Squad's supposed to be messing with the Rangers, but it's been the other way around. That's just not right. What's going on here? Where's the super styler you took from the professor? Face it, you've been cornered. Drop your futile resistance and return the super styler. And where's your boss, Gorder? If it was something we borrowed, we'd give it back. But we took the thing. Why would we need to give it back? And even though the pro power styler's been made, Professor Hastings' super styler is still an important sample. It's not something we were about to just hand over without a fight. And oh, you're also mistaken. It's not like our boss is hiding from the likes of you. He's in the Fiore Temple, working on the final experiment. But knowing that's not going to help you, now it's too late for that. Ha ha ha. I've had it. Passed here with your meddling antics. That's not all. You beat my brothers Clyde and Garrett and my little sis Tiffany. Not just once, but twice each. It's about time I settled up accounts with you, my beloved si si sibling uh, siblings. It's payback time. Tyranitar, it's time for you and your brothers to... Bro it's time for you and your brothers. Feel my anger and let its rhythm pound the ground. We got the entire Tyranitar line! T-Tar! Oh my god, it's causing massive quakes just by moving and firing hyper beams. Is this a... Wow, this seems going hard. Yeah, just by roaring it causes the shockwaves. 
Oh my god! And it's also causing rock falls as well. Must have people car that's doing that. Yeah, this people car, wow. Yeah, T Tart does not mess around. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Alright, uh, Magneton, heal us up. Yeah, this is a crazy boss fight. This is the first time we're actually fighting him, and uh, yeah, of course he's gonna have some one of the strongest Pokemon ever, Tyranitar. I'm surprised Pupitar has more uh, loops to get through than uh, Tyranitar. Pretty strange, honestly. There we go, Machamp just made this a whole lot easier. And Lavatar, Titar, and Pupitar have all been added. I didn't expect this. You are good. But alright, I lost, so I'll tell you. The stolen Super Styler is stored somewhere in the lab here, so do feel free to look. Please, take it back to your professor as a souvenir of this adventure. But before you go, there's just this one, this little thing. One little thing. This hideout self-destruct switch. Oh my god. Click. <laughs> Nobody's ever accused the four of us for, of being fair. But wait a second. That's how you deal with losing? Yeah, yeah, I know. Sore loser and pathetic and all that. But I don't care how cool this looks. I'm not going to let you mess with dad. I mean... The boss's dreams. Because that's the law. <laughs> Why? Why? Why is that? I'm sorry. I am so sorry. The law among us siblings. This law for the Gorok Squad. But having said that, this is it for the us de dedicating our all for the boss. Even though we did it for him, the boss won't ever forgive us for blowing up the base. Th but that's fine. We did what we had to do, even if it means that we, he no longer considers us as family. Wow, that's pretty fucked. Wow. From now on, the four of us will be make will make a new beginning, right back from zero again. We don't know what will start yet, but our star will shine again. Billy, Garrett, Clyde, Tiffany, we're the Go Rock Quads. All right, goodbye, Rangers. Swan, we have to get out. Leader. Good job, you two. You're not hurt, are you? Thanks to the big ruckus you two kicked up, I was able to re recover the Super Siler. Alright, mission clear. Wow. But we still have to worry about leaving. What's happening here? The walls are coming down. It's the Gorok Quads. They set off a self-destruct system. They fled through the square portal right afterwards. But they said that the boss quarter is in the Fiore Temple. Give me a report later. We have to get out of here now. Forget about the escaped criminals. Your lives are more important. Both of you, quick, dive through the portal now. We can get you out. When you get out, follow Cameron or Alita's orders. I still have my mission to rescue the Pokemon here. Listen to me. You go after Gorder. Alright. Sauna, we have to get out now. Alright, let's go. Uh, run for your lives! Yeah, that's pretty screwed up of him, Gorder, like, not considering them family. And, like, oh, that's, like, the second time, honestly, in a spin off games that I've seen family just, like, be assholes to each other in Pokemon. Well, the spin off games. There's also, there's a, there's a Coliseum that does that, if I recall correctly. You two, over here, quickly. No, actually, no, it's not, uh, it's not that. It's actually a Gale of Darkness, on my bad. I confuse the two. We got word from Spencer. Are you two alright? We're okay, but our leader is still inside. Cameron, Alita, please help. Please help our leader. Cameron and I are on a mission to rescue you two. That's what we promised Spencer. He anticipated that you would say something like that, too. You two have a mission assigned. Wait, have a mission assigned to you from by Spencer. Now, quick, hang on to me. We have to return to Windtown right now. Let's go. All right. Yeah, that's just a uh, really screw up. I remember in Gale of Darkness, uh, the two like, red and blue twins and their father is, like, the evil mastermind behind, uh, the cypher 
team that he's like the real leader of them all. But uh, one of the brothers seems to be reje re rejecting the uh, idea of the ciphers at the end, but and considers you a friendly rival. But his brother not so much, and so does his father. Their father are very resentful towards him. But yeah, this game also has family members being resentful and uh, unforgiving towards their sons, huh? Well, their children in general. Which uh, we kind of see nowadays with Pokemon getting villains that, uh, well, a villain that's related to their to someone. Lusamine, for example. And that, she's honestly one of the best Pokemon mainline villains, honestly. Alita, the Gorok Squad's secret base has been destroyed. It's no exaggeration to say that it was a fantastic success, success that will go down in Ranger history. As a result of your latest exploits, you have taken down an an another giant step forward, Solana. For that, for all that you have achieved, I hereby certify you as Ranger Rank 10. And there we go! We have we are the highest ranking Ranger. And Solana was prone to Ranger Rank 10. Now that you have attained Ranger Rank 10, your party can be expanded. Solana, you're not permitted to be accompanied by seven front Pokemon in addition to your partner. And there we go, all of our gauges are complete. Cameron, is Spencer safe? There's nothing to worry about. I bet Spencer's finished up and taking a nap somewhere. It's Spencer, Cameron, not you. He wouldn't be sneaking a nap anywhere. But Cameron's right. You, sh sh you don't need to worry about Spencer, I guarantee it. He appears when the situation is at its most dire, and he's gone by the time you, to you, the by the time you t you notice. He's always been that way. By now, Spencer's for Spencer's apprentices, I have a mission of critical importance. Thwart the plans of Gorder and the Gorok Squad's boss. The Gorok Squad's boss, who is thought to be holed up in the the Fiori Temple. All right, so er, here we go. We're gonna be assigned one last mission. But I think we're going to be saving that for the next episode. Love my videos with a like button. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. We appreciate it. We learned that Gorder is in the Fiori Temple, and the Gorok quads are have fled. And it's likely that Gorder is not we're not going to appreciate what they have done in abandoning him. It's kind of again, it's pretty darn dark for a father just to do that. Use his kids for evil. And just abandon them if they fail. It's just really sad. But the Gorok quads could probably bounce back from this. Maybe we'll see them somewhere in the future. But anyways, love my videos with that like button. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. Next time on Pokemon Ranger, we'll be heading off to the Fiore Temple. See you guys.